Yo, what's up, everybody? You know the drill. This is last week's episode. But more important than that, we got more tour tickets available. Uh, we upgraded 10 venues. So check those out, tinymeattour.com. And we added four new shows. We added another show in Berkeley, Houston, Phoenix, and we're doing two shows in LA. So head on over to tinymeattour.com. Hopefully it's not sold out. We really want to see you there, um, especially Austin. Austin, uh, pull up, 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 pull up because... Uh, it's a, it's a big ass venue, so we need you to buy some tickets. All right, let's get into today's episode. Peace. Somehow we always end up matching. Somehow we always end up like with fucking complimentary colors Yo, or what? what but the like, fuck? <laughs> it's just weird as shit. What the fuck? It's weird. Dude. You've never, how, how, like, when's the last time you wore that jacket? I don't even remember. Never. Like, never. It's been yeah. so long. This is the first time I've ever worn this hoodie, and somehow we both ended up wearing fucking brown. Dude, our periods are insane. That's what it is. Yeah. Our uh, cycles are yeah. syncing up now. That's I, did I did I say that before? What? No, I've said that before. Yeah. That's how you know when you and your bros' periods are in sync when your <laughs> wardrobe starts to match. So you know you're real homies. <laughs> Bro, I was gonna wear that. No, dude, I was gonna wear that. Okay, man, let's both wear it. <laughs> no. That's when you're really synced up. Is when you're just cool with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just you're match. Just, yeah, you're walking around like Tweedle Dean, Tweedle Dum, <laughs> just, just not giving a shit. Matching in the gym. <laughs> you ever seen that? Guys matching in the gym? And no. It's it's real. It's real. <laughs> it's real. My buddy told me at his gym like a while back, uh two guys used to come in matching, but they would wear matching like bandanas. Oh no. It was like head to toe. The fact that a headpiece was incorporated is just that is like planned as fuck. Oh yeah, that's like serious thought. <laughs> like with the bandana. <laughs> that's like, like they got like yeah, bro. They have like a Google calendar, a shared Google calendar <laughs> with the days and what outfits they're wearing. No, I, I didn't want to do blue on Monday because we did blue last Thursday and I just feel like mm, maybe a little too close. And we took that Instagram picture Ooh, that yeah. you remember. Yeah. And I just feel like if we take another one today, our followers are going to be like, man, but you wore blue. And yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird part. Not only do they match, but this probably means they shop together too. Yeah. Well, we shop together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we bought these. We bought this. Yeah, yeah, you know, we just, bought this shit at the same time. Yeah, just buying buying things together. No, I'm kidding. Actually, I didn't buy this. I was. It's mine. This is my brand new merch that just released today. <laughs> Cody's got new merch. My brand brand new shit that just released today. Simple. It's clean. It's good for the fall. Yeah. Um. Go get some if if uh what am I doing if here? you like my if you like my YouTube channel go grab some. <laughs> Manjoy.co slash Cody Co. Appreciate you. But more importantly, we have new merch. Coming <laughs> oh very yeah. Soon. Speaking of merch, we got some new merch <laughs> on the way. Buy, buy this for sure. But I'm saying we got yeah. new shit coming up too. Yeah. Um. But you know, this will keep you. This will this will keep <laughs> this you satiated. Over. This will keep you satiated in the meantime. Yeah. I'm grab uh, you one of these just while you wait because ours is going to be available in a. Oh, two weeks. Week or two. Yeah, week or two. Probably two weeks. Mm -hmm. And we got all the designs. If you're on Patreon, you've seen them already. We posted yeah. them on Patreon. Yeah. And uh, uh, apparently they're all corny as fuck. <laughs> I got like, I made that survey. Yeah. Okay, basically, we, we did it because we wanted like opinions. Because we wanted yeah. to know like how much inventory to like purchase of each yeah. design and shit like that. Yeah. And so we put up the designs and then I, I made a little like Google form, like rating each design from like <laughs> one to two. Or from trash to definitely copying. Yeah. And it was a scale, like one, two, three, four, five scale. Yeah. And I realized, like, what it what is, like, like one of the designs got a shit ton of threes, but I have no idea what that means. Like, the, might uh, buy. Yes. I, <laughs> if I'm drunk, yeah. I might buy that if I'm drunk. That's yeah. probably what that means. Yeah. Drunk or, like, if they got a little extra on the paycheck that week. Yeah, okay. They feel like going crazy. Yeah, I like, see. You know, I might. I might cop. <laughs> I might even cop this. That's what that is. <laughs> okay. I might even just get this on the side. <laughs> yeah. It's just, this shit's kind of cold. Oh, like an add on? Oh, it's like a, oh, yeah, okay. It's like at CVS, like the last, or the Trader Joe's, the last yeah. minute shit that you're like, yeah, I'll grab these chocolate almonds, even though yeah. I never, like, yeah. never normally would buy those. Yeah, I might eat this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Green tea mints. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking instant <laughs> cop. It's like one of those. Yeah. And then you eat it one time, you're like, oh, pretty good. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So that shit's coming out. In a few weeks, so get you some. And then we'll be matching every day. Also, just a quick shout out um, uh, to Shannon for uh, uh, panicking with rebranding us as the Meat Guys to her parents. Yeah, yeah, big shout out. You know, uh, we got you on the T. Yeah. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, speak, speaking of cool products. Okay. 
Have you tried the new uh, chlamydia Dambalzerian strain? <laughs> Nitro it- chlamydia. <laughs> Smoke like Dan Bilzerian and get all the big ass fucking boobies you ever wanted in your fucking life. Oh man. That guy is- Yeah, that strain's fucking dope. Dude. Yeah. What is that? Is that a sativa? <laughs> It's neither. It's its own fucking brand. <laughs> you smoke it and get chlamydia instantly. That sounds fire. Yeah. That sounds, f- yeah, it sounds like. <laughs> no, all the, all, I imagine all the strains are just infused with Dan Bilzerian's pubic hair. And yeah. then, like, they just somehow, like, create an STD that he's had from, like, a model or some shit. Yeah. So maybe they just name it after the model and then the STD. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Asia Acara's chlamydia. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let me get some of that. <laughs> And then it's like you burn that down. Yeah, I feel I can feel it already. I'm <laughs> burning in my crotch. That's awesome. I love Dan Bilzerian's brand now. Yeah, dude. It's just like smoke weed if you want to be rich. Like, yeah, he's rebranding weed to be like a party drug, and it's just not. Yeah, it's not working for me. No, it's not working for me at all. No, it's it's so absurd. Yeah, what he's trying to do, like just clearly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I just popped on his Instagram real quick, and he's like. Like, just to see what he's up to, you know? Yeah, just, I like to know. check in with my boys. Well, I still follow him from back in the day, because we're homies. He reposted me once. So <laughs> oh, it's yeah, like, we're de- yeah, yeah, right. We're definitely boys. Fucking. We're definitely homies. <laughs> uh, <fucking laughs> the ghosts of Christmas past. Yeah, this that's fucking, my guy right there. <laughs> this fucking vine. Yeah. This this moment in your life when Dan Bilzerian posted this vine. Yeah. You're just going to... When we were at his house. 48. Yo, I remember kids. You want to know how cool your dad was? <laughs> I remember Danny B. That's Danny Bills. That's short for Danny Bil- Danny Bilzerian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the guy who's like Playboy. Like the guy who's kind of like the Hugh Hefner. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy that sells that sex weed. Se- the, the STD weed. <laughs> he reposted your father. Yeah. No one reposts anymore, Dad. Shut, <laughs> shut up, shut up, Dad. Bro, <laughs> we all lip sync. <laughs> yeah, when we were at his house, and I like, he looked me in the eyes. He recognized me. Yeah, did he? Yeah, yeah. He he totally stopped and was like, "Oh, you're that kid I reposted two years ago. Really yeah. glad to see your career is working out for you." Anyways, yeah. do we're you gonna be do downstairs. A, do you want to do a dab? Do you want to do a nitro dab downstairs? No. <laughs> what? No. That sounds. What do you mean? I'm trying to party. That sounds like awful. No, no, no. Hit this dab. Hmm. Hit this dab. I mean, fine. If these models are doing it, I guess I'll do it Wait, too. Wait, do you actually follow him? <laughs> no, I don't. Bro, his snap is so funny. Is his, it really? Or his IG? I always call it snap. But his okay. Instagram story kills me. Okay. It's like that he's like what inspired me when I was like, I want to do an Instagram account where I just like film me working out like <laughs> at like insane hours and oh, then yeah, just like right. set like an automated posting like 3.30 in the morning. Seriously. Yeah. And it's just like I'm squatting big <laughs> ass weight because I'll like open up his <laughs> fake timestamp. Yeah. Like yeah. stickers. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> just, just 4.05 a.m. P- big <laughs> weight. We 30 pushing, minutes in. What? Pushing big weight. What? It's like Ronnie Coleman shit, <laughs> big ass weight. Yeah. No, it's like I'll, I'll be swiping through stories, and then at like eleven thirty, he's like doing like chest presses, and there's like two girls in the background, and he'll be like exhaling weed. <laughs> They're making out with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> one of them is putting the dab rig in his mouth and lighting it, <laughs> yeah. and he's doing chest presses. <laughs> Like, no, stop trying to rebrand weed as anything else but what it is. What's up, guys? It's your man, Mega Chad, here. I want to talk about this brand new supplement I'm on. It's called marijuana, and it's really helping me, <laughs> you know, hit my maxes and blow through them, actually. It's really helping me do that. It's like, no, it's not. What do you mean? It makes you want to eat Funyuns. That's all it does. <laughs> it's weed, dude. It's not a fucking party drug. Dude, it's CBD. It's, is it actually CBD? No, I don't know. You uh, probably sell CBD. Yeah, probably. It's like, uh, whatever. But no, the other funny part is like, he posted this video of his place, like he had some big Halloween party, and yeah. he's got all these cuts of like girls like hitting bongs and shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just not like it's not attractive either. Yeah, they're just like bent over, like trying to like drink out of like a tiny drinking fountain is what it looks like. You know what I mean? Like when someone <laughs> just looks like a science project. Yeah. Like the video that I was like, talking about when I went on his Instagram, it's like his girlfriend. And I went on his girlfriend's page, and her her most recent video was her hitting a dab rig. Yeah. And Dan Bilzerian is like doing the light, like lighting it. <laughs> I know what you're and the caption about. was, "Doing dabs with daddy." Yep. Yep. And it just <laughs> it just looked it. like it was like the most complicated. He's holding the thing, and he like 
he lifts up a chamber and he's like still lighting the thing and then he like puts it back in <laughs> yeah. and like purges it or whatever and she she like inhales three times like friend, and I'm like what are you what am I watching she's what is like, this a fucking science project no and she's like definitely trying to make it sexy but it's yeah, just it, not it's just not it looks like she's yeah. like sucking on a small dick <laughs> he's blowing a whistle and I just know that right after that video she was like incapacitated yeah there's just no way she would even be able to speak after that no Doing a dab like that? Yeah, the one time I, I smoked, like, out of a bong. Uh, Taylor one time loads a bong, and then he puts, like, wax on top of it. Yeah. Effectively, like, a, I, basically a dab, in my opinion, yeah. just with how strong it was. I thought, like, you know people talk about, like, oh, I thought I was going to die from weed. That's the only time I ever, like, truly felt like I was going to die. Like, I felt every heartbeat. And I know that's what all of these girls and people are going through, more or less, with the fucking Dambles area and Nitro weed. Yeah. So just imagining her being like, uh-huh, Dad's a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan, she's, my chest. <laughs> she's looking at, She's looking around, everyone's clay. <laughs> like Wallace and Grandma, she's like, <laughs> um, Dan, um. That's like when, like, frames are missing from your life. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. do you want cherry or strawberry? Cherry or strawberry what? <laughs> Your order. Your order. Hey, he's here. Eat it. I thought <laughs> we were just ordering. Oh. oh. Dan, my chest. My chest. Oh, the silicone. It's collapsing onto my arteries. The silicone, it's melting. Dan, the silicone's melting. Call 911. He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did I give you a dab? Dude, his... Dan Bilzerian's voice is weirdly gamer. Yeah. You're like, he kind of has that like. Uh, what is he? He'll be like, "Yeah, so we fucking just we got this new fucking weed, <laughs> yeah, and like, it fucking yeah. rips. You should smoke if you want to lift that heavy shit. Check out my weed. Yeah, that's and no, actually, it is more like SoCal, like stoner. Yeah, I just, I, but it's a weird it is, hybrid. It, no, but I'm saying that's what I'm saying. It doesn't match. His brand, like his brand is like jacked, <laughs> yeah. like Alpha Chad, yeah, gambler, like yeah. party Vegas, heart two heart attacks. <laughs> like this dude is like about that life, yeah. And then he rebrands to weed. And now he's like, he's like trying, like <clears throat> trying to be a stoner with this at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't really add up to me. Weed is not like conducive to lifting heavy weight and like no. partying super hard into the late, yeah, or the early hours of the morning with fucking models. It's yeah. like, no, that's cocaine. Yeah. And Molly, that's why it's there. Yeah, weed is definitely like, you sit alone, and like sometimes your friends come over, but usually you just want to smoke yourself to death and then yeah. like watch cartoons and then you get like three funny ideas and then you write them in a notebook and then you wake up the next day and you go to work and you're like, yo, you ever, you ever thought about like, what if your hands could naturally... <laughs> just don't moist- even... Moisture. What are you talking about, son? Well, uh, sorry. Um, I was down stocking the printers, and I, I uh, we're at HP. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> it got me thinking, though. What could we rebrand? Oh. I know we're kind of trying to rebrand gaming <laughs> <laughs> as a cool hip party thing. What? Like, just picture Dan Bilzerian's Halloween party with like nine streamers in the middle yeah. t- streaming on Twitch oh, that's, playing Fortnite. That's his next move. That's kind of what they were doing with Ninja at the fucking music festival. Yes. When he was streaming. Like, yeah. On like a stage. Yeah. And just a bunch of fucking yeah. 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 It's like stop trying to make Twitch happen. Fortnite is cool. <laughs> Fortnite's cool. Yeah, stop n- trying to make Fortnite happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I really liked my idea the other day about Razor selling a colostomy bag. <laughs> no, Razor should sell diapers. Razor Scooter? No, Razor, like, the gaming mouse company. Oh, okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, they sell, like, gaming accessories, like okay. mice and keyboard. Okay. Get out of here, dude. I didn't know that. Fake-ass gamer. I'm, what, I'm, on, I'm on my Logitech shit. <laughs> dude, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> the hardware just doesn't stack up, dude. Nah, it doesn't, doesn't get the switch like, fast enough. Right? <laughs> it's not fast enough. Dude. Here's a here's a slur for gamers like us nice. or come over gamers. Okay, which is like just gamers, old like, ass gamers. No, kind of. We're like, cause there's like fuckboy gamers, right? Like phase guys. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> like dudes wear snapbacks down to their eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what up? About to slay out today, dude. They're, I guess they're kind of trying to do what Dan Blazarian's trying to do with weed. They, no, they they are. That kind of that kind of like adds up to me. Yeah. 
Danville's like they talk is... like rappers and they sell chains and yeah. like they're, they're wearing snapbacks and wearing yeah. Gucci and shit like that. But it's like you play video games. Like, yeah. You know? No, dude. I fucking crush, dude. I slay out. Yeah. It's... Yo, what? Like fucking 25 kills the other day. Slayed on out. On solos. Slayed out all with the double pump, whatever. <laughs> a phase dude could be, a phase dude could look like a model. Yeah. And I promise, like, if he just had, but if he had that same personality, yeah. goes to a party, somebody like, hey, yo, this is a, this, this dude from phase. Oh, wow, that's really, what's phase? It's like a gaming syndicate. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to talk? Yeah, sure. Yo, this is my boy, phase sex. <laughs> Dude's got crazy KD. He's like, oh, bro, you should see my game yesterday, dog. <laughs> oh, I outbuilt this little pussy. Oh, my God. I f- right there. Dried up. Okay, bye. Yeah, later. Okay. <laughs> bye. I'm going to go smoke this dab with Dan. No, dude, dude. Why? I'm going to hit this dab. I'm going to put down 30 just for you right <laughs> now, dude. Right now. Uh, it's just funny because, like, you know, this, <laughs> come, this comes from people who play video games. Yeah. Video games are never going to be cool. No, they're not. But they are cool. But they are cool to us. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll be cool. No, nah, it's never. It's not going to be like cocaine cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like no one's going to sneak away at a no. party to play Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Computer. What are you guys doing in here? <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing in here? Actually, that's not true. Oh, yo. <laughs> that is not true. That is on every dude's mind. <laughs> I know. At I know. every that's party. Like, I'm saying, but it's cool. And in like, terms of cocaine. It's like, damn, why are those people just going to that room? Oh, they're doing coke. Oh, that's like the cool kids. Oh, yeah, party. yeah, it's yeah. It's like, I can't. Yeah. I don't know them. I yeah. can't just go and be like, yo, can I get some coke? Yeah. Yo, what are they doing in there? Yo, oh, what are they doing in there? Yeah, they're playing Fortnite. They're playing Fortnite. Oh, there's some virgins? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what those dudes? How funny would that be if that was cool? Yeah. Yo, y'all got, yo, can I get in? Just like 15 dudes standing in a room. Nah. Who do you know here? <laughs> I know Face Sex. He's my boy from high school. Dude, that'd be a fucking hilarious 30 second sketch. Dude walks into a party. Yeah. It's like he texts some dude. He's like, yo, doors unlocked. Just come inside. He's like, for show. And he like walks in and he's like, looks around. Just a bunch of girls, like yeah. dolled up, <laughs> drinking. No guys. He's like, <laughs> and he like goes over, like gets a drink. He's like, what's up, ladies? And they're like, hey, y'all, y'all come alone. They're like, no, he came with our friends. Where are they at? In there. Just turn. Like, slight creak. And yeah. you just hear like, dinkf. Like, <laughs> he just goes in, opens the door, goes, yo, Fortnite? And then just slams the door. <laughs> There's all these girls sitting outside like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? They're like, well, I mean, only thing left to do is have a pillow fight. <laughs> Strip down in the launch race or having a pillow fight. <laughs> all the dude. That's class. That's Instagram comedy right there. Yeah, that's bam. what that is. That's what bam. that is. Yeah, nice, dude. Do you? Whatever are we going to do? We should get naked and make out with each other and then uh, hit each other with pillow. Yeah. <laughs> camera pans to the yeah, camera. Camera cuts to the other room. Headshot. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst idea. Oh, that's the worst idea ever. That's bad. Holy shit. That was really bad. Yeah, dude. Razor, hit me up, man. You sell adult diapers for gamers. Yeah. That's what. That's the kind of sponsorship I want. Yeah, you do. Yeah, what's up, guys? Rocking the uh, Razor X Mamba diapers today. Yeah. They're black <laughs> instead of white. <laughs> Fire. They're, they got, like, green yeah, fucking... The green snakes. <laughs> There's green snakes. They look super dope. They're padded. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, <laughs> so comfy. <laughs> look, it's just thick as hell, too. Yeah. It's got, like, a, a nutsack cradle. Yeah. So the shit doesn't get on your balls. Yeah. And you just shit right on yourself <laughs> and then just pee. I, I usually wear a catheter when I game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The fucking Corsair catheter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Got the Corsair catheter, razor diaper. Yeah. Don't have to move. Yeah. Hold on, you guys. I got to change my catheter to tube. <laughs> <laughs> and then, babe, babe, can you throw that out for me? <laughs> and he just has the bag. Like next to, or just in next to his head in the background. A piss. Yeah, just a bag of piss, just hanging out next to his head while he's playing fucking Fortnite. Like an IV himself. bag. Yeah, just fucking calcifying, just becoming one with his chair. The oh. ultimate gamer, bro. <laughs> so I want, I, 
<sighs> that'd be so. That'd be. You already know, boy. You already, you already know, guys. It's your boy. <laughs> Face it's sex. your boy face dipshit. I got the my bag of piss right behind me. You already know what it is. You already know what's popping and what's good. It's face dickhole. I got my fucking piss bag right beside me. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm just scared by my own mic. I hit, what the, mic. What I hit the mic and freaked me out. Dude, I'm laughing thinking about a kid from FaZe doing all that. He's got his fucking catheter bag and he just stands up and he's just in a diaper. Like he just, like everything else, like the hoodie, the snapback, the yeah, hold on, let me fix this light, stands up, just purely a diaper. No pants. It's like a fucking baby. Reaches over, adjusts his camera, sits back down. All right, it's the late. chains on and yeah, shit like that. Everything. Supreme shirt. <laughs> stands up, his shit streaming down. And- <laughs> Oh my god. Razor diarrhea poo str- just trickling down his legs. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude. Tootsied myself. Anyways. Uh, we're gonna be fucking slaying out today. It was like yeah. that it's like that kiddo What up? It's your boy face <laughs> scope hole. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's face dung puncher. Um what up? what up? It's your boy face scabies. <laughs> What's up? I'm with it- my boy face. N word. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that's a white kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, a... <laughs> ah, that's a white kid. <laughs> Yo, what up, dude? It's your boy Phase N. N bomb. N bomb. It's your boy Phase N bomb. <laughs> I don't know why people are tripping off my name, dude. I made this when I was like 13. It's not a big deal. Oh, God. Phase and bomb is the fucking worst. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) The most problematic Twitch streamer. (laughs) It's your boy Phase and bomb, dude. (laughs) And Phase. Oh. And today I'm streaming with my boy Faze. Why can't we say? It? <laughs> yeah. But it's abbreviated. W W S I T. W W S A. Why can't we say it too? Oh so it's your boy's Faze and Bomb. Why can't we say it too? And today um, we're sitting down with our boy. It's not a big deal, dude. Why do you want to fight? <laughs> Me and my boys say it all the time. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> and today and today we're doing the fucking... Because they never actually... You know there's like phase dudes that just don't game anymore. They just do challenge videos. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah. That's pretty funny pivot. Yeah. Or they're like, oh, this is way easier. Yeah, this is way better. <laughs> I don't have to grind on Twitch 12 hours a day. Yeah. I'll just spin this wheel and put whipped cream on some <laughs> fucking girl. I don't even have to play video games anymore. It's lit. That's that's litty, dog. <laughs> Fucking rip off the diaper. Let's get to it. <laughs> Shit all over the walls. <laughs> God damn, bro. Oh man. I was gonna say something else about fucking gaming. Oh yeah. You know, uh the first <laughs> this past, I don't know, weekend, it was like last week. The first ever non Korean won. A big StarCraft two tournament. That's crazy. Took them twenty years. Jesus Christ. It's twenty years for a non Korean for We finally did <laughs> for it. The rest of the world to catch up to <laughs> Asians in gaming. In one game. Isn't StarCraft isn't that a isn't that like a Korean game? <clears throat> it was developed by Blizzard, but oh, okay. It's uh it's just bigger <clears throat> in Korea. Huge in Korea. Yeah. But the what's funny is all the patches to get it to a point where a non Korean could win. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's hilarious. StarCraft 2 has so many, like, assisted functions that were not in, like, Brood War. Really? Brood War was, like, literally everything. You had to individually control, like, you could only max control, like, 12 <clears throat> units. I don't know what the fuck that means. It's a fucking RTS game, so okay, it's, okay. like, basically you build an army. Oh, right, 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 right. okay. If you're building an army, you can only at most have 200 people in your army. Okay. And you can only control them in groups of 12. That was it. So, right. like... Did you play this game? Brood War? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I mean, I was too young to be good at it. I okay. suck shit. I played a lot of StarCraft 2, but huh. then I realized, like, uh, I need to be more productive, so I pick up Fortnite. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Cool. <laughs> no, I no just, you picked up Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike. And now you're a Fortnite. <clears throat> well, I went 
Counter Strike, Quake Three, Starcraft Two. Okay. Counter Strike again. Right. Then Fortnite. <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah, okay. Got it. Just so we're clear. Always on the PC. Yeah. Okay. Ne- never a console. Okay. Idiot. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Not idiotic, actually. <laughs> no, but now Starcraft Two does so much shit for you. It is. It is so like. It's such easy mode Starcraft. That's hilarious. Like Koreans, like stopped. Like a lot of people were like not Starcraft Two was. I don't think it was as big as Brood War for a minute. Like Brood War in like 2010 was still bigger than Starcraft Two, huh. or not 2010, like 2012, 2013. Okay. Because it was. They're like, this is fucking. This is baby shit. Yeah. So yeah, it, Blizzard basically had to put in, <laughs> had to rig it. Yeah, that's crazy. So I had to, put, I had to so add non- cheat codes to the game. <laughs> so had to add support for win. cheat codes so non-Korean can finally win. <laughs> They're done with it. They're just like, we're move, we're on, man. We're yeah. on to fucking Overwatch or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, you, you know they're done with it because they're letting people older than 16 play it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's insane how young some of these kids were on these teams. Oh, yeah. What, the Korean teams? Yeah, yeah they yeah. start at 14. Dude, the fucking, back when I used to dive, the Chinese divers were like, <clears throat> They Chinese always dominated diving. I think yeah. they still do, but it's because they would put them into training camps when they were like three, <laughs> and they would go to they would school was like an afterthought. Basically, they would just train diving all day, and then school was like a thing that they would do like on the side, like homeschool, wow, or whatever. Or like they were schools for diving. <clears throat> yeah, so they were like specially made so that these kids like didn't actually have to do like schoolwork. That's crazy. Yeah, and they were just like beasts when they were like six. Yeah. And you can't compete. Yeah. There's like a hilarious article where some dude grinded StarCraft for like years. And he was like, you know, 25, 26 or something. And he like went to a gaming house in Korea to like join a team. And the coach was just like, oh. (laughs) No way. He was saying like, our youngest players destroy you. Oh, no. And it's like 14 year olds. Oh, no. Guy went over there and like realized like how old he was like. The dexterity in his fingers couldn't keep up oh, and shit that's like so that. so sad. <laughs> that is so sad. He just, like, he couldn't hang. Oh, no. He couldn't hang. Poor guy. So crazy. Shout out to that dude. Yeah. Shout out, bro. Maybe, so, he's, maybe he's Twitch streaming now or something. <clears throat> the boy who won his name is Cyril. Okay. Cyril? Yeah. Interesting name. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's like some Swedish kid. He said the coldest shit. What did he say? Like, all broken and, like, he's like... Well, they're like they're trying to interview him after the big win. Okay, and I mean he's just frozen. Like I don't know if he is he just kind of has like a stoic personality. <clears throat> and he was a little bit nervous, but he's just like, like, oh my god, you're the first non-Korean to win. They didn't want to say white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> first non-Korean yeah, yeah, yeah. to win. How does that feel? And he's like, uh, well, it's not what I expect. Uh, I trained for this but um i also look and think this the only trophy i don't have so i want it oh <laughs> that's cool yeah, and he's like so i figure i want to add one more to my collection yeah <laughs> but it was like all nerdy and like fucking lame but it was still cold as fuck that's, it was like that's hard damn. that's fucking hard that's like the dude who's fighting floyd mayweather Oh, yeah. You see his, his response to Conor McGregor? Oh, it was so good. Conor McGregor was like, Oh, you look like Jackie Chan. <laughs> he looks like Jackie Chan. What the fuck are what you no wearing? Fuck? Yeah. What the fuck are you wearing? And he was like, he posted a picture of him, of himself, the Asian dude. Oh, yeah. And was like, uh, Dear Mr. McGregor, like, I, I am not Jackie Chan. <laughs> and I fully intend to avenge your, your loss. loss. <laughs> I swear it. I swear it. Or some, some shit. Oh, it's just man. like fucking awesome to like defend, to to uh, offer to defend the dude's honor who's dissing you. Yeah, it's such a great clapback. Yeah, it really is. Hey, don't worry, man. I'm gonna do what you couldn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah, I could, yeah. I could do it. No, no, no. no you couldn't. No. And so I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna defend your honor. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for if us. You don't have the ability to defend your own honor. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for MMA guys. I got it for us. Yeah. What? No, no. No. Fuck you, mate. Fuck, fuck you. you. What the fuck are you Bro. wearing? You look like Jackie Chan. <laughs> so racist. Yeah. Just so blatantly racist. Yeah, super Didn't racist. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Connor's weird. Uh, yeah. He's weird. He's a, I mean, he's a, I mean, you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. He's fucking insane. What's the deal with this fight? Uh, you said there's some controversy? It's not really, yeah, so basically it's, um, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It was a big sham. And I, and 
uh, this has happened before to two other boxers, Ali and I forget the other boxer. Or basically, it's kind of crazy though. So, uh, some fighters will. There's such thing as like private, like private rich guy fights. Mm-hmm. Like you, like that was in the movie Game Night. Like they kind of joked about that. Like, okay. But that's like real. Like, okay. Really. Like there's a story of like one of the Klitschko brothers doing like a 15 minute sparring session for like some Saudis, but they paid big money for them to come fight on a yacht. Really. Like a Klitschko, one of the Klitschkos, and like he fought someone else, like like straight up. You know, fifteen minute boxing match, like like a short boxing match. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. So that's kind of sadistic to like pay for that. Yeah, it's to like, happen right in front of you in person, like, like with, bum fight shit. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It is weird. Yeah. So, but uh, I guess it's also kind of like <clears throat> it's like buying a pay per view. Not really, because you're buying it with the rest <clears throat> of the country, and it's like a spectator event. Yeah, it's like a spectator you're there with other people between you and your fourteen oil rich friends. <laughs> Whatever. I guess. I don't know. It just feels like I'm not personally, I'm not like, I'm not hiring this guy to fight. I'm paying for the pay per view, which they promoted. Put together, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Paying for someone to do a job, like fight someone else, is weird. Yeah. Yeah. I guess if someone gets the shit beat out of them, like yeah. on your yacht. Yeah. It's like, oh. Yeah. When's time you lose some, bud? Yeah. <laughs> just throw them overboard. Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> so, uh, the fight was put together by some. I think it was Ryzen promotion or Risen. I yeah, don't know. Th- there's like a lot of like, okay, so this is Floyd. This is Floyd's claim. Okay, he claims that they're trying to do what they did to Ali, where they set him up, and basically, <clears throat> they told him it was a private bout for like a you know exhibition match, like a three. Uh, he claimed it was a three round nine minute exhibition match for a, like an insane amount of money, and he got there. <clears throat> Did all the pictures and shit, and then he's claiming that uh, it was going to be a broadcasted event, like they were going to record it and all that shit, and and uh, him and his marketing team were quote blindsided, so the, that's why the fight's not happening, and he didn't fight because he thought he was going in for a a, a nine minute exhibition match, like so he he's trying to put it on Ryzen saying like oh Ryzen Promotions uh, is is Faked me out, and they're trying to pull one up, like a fast one on me, kind of shit. Are you following what I'm saying? No, I have no idea. So he's Who? just Floyd. Yeah, Floyd is claiming that the boxing promotion company is trying to hoodwink him. So they told him, "Oh, it's a nine minute exhibition match for some rich people, and they're gonna pay you a big sum of money." And he gets there, and they're like, "Psych, it's gonna be on TV." You cool with that? Oh, We're... so he was supposed to actually <clears throat> fight? That's what he's claiming. That's what he's claiming. So he got there like prepared to actually do a fight. That's what he's claiming. Yeah, I thought the fight was happening on New Year's Day. So or New Year's a, Eve again. So that's where people are challenging it, saying like, "No, dude, you you took pictures. You couldn't have been hoodwinked because you were taking pictures at a presser with kickboxing gloves and shorts. Like, you know those aren't boxing gloves. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. So <clears throat> what everyone really thinks <clears throat> happened is Floyd thought he was going to go in there and be like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll fight, but we're going to use boxing gloves, and uh, he can't use elbows or knees and the." Uh, and Ryzen was probably like, no, he's got to be able to use some of his tools. Like, you can't rig it. And he probably just didn't get what he wanted, so he said no. Huh. <clears throat> that's that's the, you know, that's huh. conspiracy. Huh. Well. Huh. Yeah. So Interesting. All, cool. All that excitement for nothing. Yeah, damn. I was really hoping that that dude was going to get in there and just fucking. <laughs> knock him out. Not knock him out, but like put some fucking hands on him. Yeah. What, I mean, the what, Asian dude's fast as fuck, yeah. dude. He's a beast. Yeah. Crazy. He's knocked motherfuckers out. He's a he's a small dude knocking people out. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, let me get away from fighting. enough. <laughs> enough with the enough with the. Fight Welcome talk. back to Boxing Hour. Smoke the nitro chlamydia weed. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm pumped <clears throat> for this weekend, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit the club and smoke some dabs. Fuck yeah, in bro. the club. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. R- and like just rage. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what I love to do. Yeah, is get in there, and I love to fucking. Order some ignite weed, mm-hmm. and I love to do dabs in the club, and then just sit there. Hell yeah, dude! Nah, bro, you know what it's like? Yeah, it's like um, it's like it's like resistance training, rage resistance training. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're yeah, saying? Okay. so like you hit the dab, but it's designed to create new resistance. So to test and push your fucking yep. potential party limits as a rager. Yeah, I see that. So that when you're not stoned, you can rage even, even harder. harder. Yeah. Yeah. 
So if you can rage a full night on a dab, yeah. you can rage two nights. <laughs> it's really a tool that you use to train for benders. I see. Yeah. Okay, that's cool, actually. Yeah. I like. I can't wait for when Dan like comes out with molly weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smokable molly weed. Yeah. And weird laced <laughs> shit. Snortable weed. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's a thing already. I mean, probably not. That'd be so funny. Yeah, I we fuck uh, at the party in the room doing snortable weed. Yeah, we took like CBD crumbs or whatever. We put it in French toast yeah. and like figured out like you could just chop it up and snort it. <laughs> Got all the girls in the house snorting this shit. Get high as fuck before they suck my dick. <laughs> They're all just eyes yeah. fucking red as shit. <laughs> just blaze out of their minds. Uh, we, yeah, we've been snorting weed. Fucking till 4 a.m., dude. And they just fall backwards like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> weed sex. Slightly stupid's playing. <laughs> Yo, weed sex feels good, but when you, like, zoom out, you're probably both hardly moving. Yeah. Like, it's just got to look like... <laughs> just two snails. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I've never had weed sex. It, it. I've tried before, but it impedes my ability to get the old... Bone yeah. Dog yeah. To achieve yeah. To achieve bonerism. My eyes just get so slanted. Yeah. That it just looks like I'm asleep. So the question is always like, are you awake? Is I'm this like, consensual? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'm here. I'm here. Copy. Audio. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> audio, 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 audio. I'm here. The problem with weed sex is whoever's on the like lying down or on the bed, they yeah. go to they go to they sleep. Go to- <laughs> they go to sleep. It's like it, it, it becomes not consensual. I just want to say, like, suddenly. midway through, all of a sudden, <laughs> just one partner's like, <clears throat> like, oh, 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 oh fuck, god fuck. damn, no, I'm hey, out, I'm out. Hey, wake up, wake up, yeah. wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> That's, dude, some girl being like, yeah, let's fucking, like, yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. She, like, uh, gets yeah. on the bed and, like, it's, like, bends over. Yeah. She, like, looks back, she's like, are you ready? He's like, hell yeah. And she's just like, <clears throat> <laughs> just head ass in the air, <laughs> head in the pillow. <laughs> He's like, "What? He's going to jerk off now. <laughs> then he goes in the bathroom to jerk off, and then he sits down on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just... <laughs> just, just just falls. No, he's just, yeah, he's like doing like the thinker. Yeah. But like yeah, just yeah. one hand cupped around his yeah. balls and flaccid dick. Just, yeah. <laughs> we got to, we got to, we got to rebrand melatonin. Yeah. The, or or magnesium. It? Yeah, magnesium. A, yeah, yeah, for drug. anxiety. Yeah. yeah. That's what we got to do. Fucking, yeah, <laughs> with the boys ripping melatonies before we hit the club. You can actually... <laughs> it's so faded. Like, <laughs> I guess people do use, like, lean and shit as party drugs. Yeah. But, like, you can't really, like, party, no, party, party with party, that party. shit. Like, take, like, fucking Ambien and Wait, go to the what club. what time is it? How and, deep are we? Yeah, I think we're pretty deep. Let me check. <laughs> I think we're, like, 40 minutes in, bro. Hey, uh, we'll come right back. What was your thought? What? We'll come back. What were you just saying? Uh, ripping, uh, uh, taking ambience before the club. Yeah, we'll come back to that okay. and uh, ODing on magnesium before hitting the club. In yeah, just a in moment. a second. All right. <clears throat> Speaking of fights, today's fight episode is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek, a wonderful way to book tickets for concerts and events. You get a score on every seat to know if you're getting a great deal or not. You can even take a view from the seat so you know what it's going to look like when you get there. Mm-hmm. Get $10 off with this promo. 20 actually. Take it back. Get $20 off your first set of tickets when you order with this promo code. Tiny Meat. That's T-I-N-Y-M-E-A-T. You can log into the app and punch it in through your profile or click the link in the description below. Mm-hmm. That's right. SeatGeek. Life's an event. We have the tickets. That was clean as hell. Yeah. Holy shit. Our no, tale see, of the, let's ruin it now. <laughs> our tale of the tape. Floyd Mayweather versus some random Asian guy. Uh, uh, listen, guys. Every every purchase on SeatGeek is fully guaranteed, so you can shop for tickets on SeatGeek with confidence. Make SeatGeek your go-to ticket source for everything from sports and concerts to comedy and theater. It's actually a great, great app. We all use it to book tickets. Yeah. So you should, too. $20 yeah. off um, with their first, first SeatGeek purchase. Just download yeah. the app. Hit the link in the description. Tiny Meat is the promo code. Also, they have a built-in market where you can sell tickets. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's uh, super convenient if you book some shit, like, to just be able... To, this is right there. It's like, yeah. redeem or sell. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Just put up, bang. Yeah. Set the price, go. Yeah. It's sick. Like, for example, when you start regretting 
the uh, ticket purchase for our tour. Yeah, you can <laughs> you, know, you can sell it. As soon as you yeah <laughs> yeah you can sell, sell it. it. As, soon as you wake up the next morning, you go, God, why did I buy this oh, shit? I shouldn't fuck. have smoked so much melatonin. <laughs> you can you can sell them right down there. So thank you to Sea Geek and big up Sea Geek. Back thank to the you. episode. Thanks. Let me set the fucking timer now so that we know. Yeah, I gotta really just gotta do this every time, and you know I don't we, know why we ne- we all, always forget. Because we're real friends, dude. Yeah. We just want to get in here and chat. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. We just want to chat. We boys. just want to chat. Just chat. Chat it up, dude. Yeah. Just gab. Yeah. We just want to gab. Just gab around. But all the fun stuff that's yeah. happening. Yeah, ODing on melatonin. Yeah. Yeah, we want to smoke some melatonin. You, you can. <laughs> I want to fucking chief down on some magnesium. Wait, imagine my auto-tune's on. Yeah. I like the pizza with pepperoni. <laughs> I'll be in the club on Melatoni. <laughs> and that, yeah, there you go. That's dope. Thanks, dude. Uh, dare I say it? Bars. Bars. A little bit of bar- mm-hmm. bars. It's super funny to see that comment in the community Face section. Face Melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're saying? No. Yo, that was your boy Face at Melatonin. <laughs> that's just like, uh, that's just like this, uh, the corporate, that's just the, uh, what am I trying to say here? The gang version of that is a little sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, fool? A little sleepy? <laughs> hey, fool. Hey, dog. Hey, you ever hear this fucking, this chlamydia weed, dog? <laughs> Shit fucking bangs, homie. Shit burns. Shit burns, dog, like <laughs> your dick, fool. <laughs> like, God damn, I smoked that shit like far. My dick is on fire, dog. <laughs> damn, my, my dick is on fire, dog. Dang. <laughs> so what's up, dog? You gonna smoke this or what? <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, it's funny because melatonin doesn't even make you like it's not like cool tired, you know. When you're like faded, you're like relaxed. Yeah, melatonin just makes you tired. That's yeah. all it is. It just like makes you feel like you're in bed about to go to sleep. Melatonin doesn't even work for me. Really? Yeah. It kind of works for me. I think <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a placebo. No, mel- for melatonin to work, you have to be like completely in a dark room. Mm. Like you got to pop it and just like go <clears throat> right in the bed, put an eye mask on. That's how you hit a quick out. dab. Hit a quick dab. Yeah. yeah. Hit a quick nitro melatonin. Yeah. Okay. Well, why is chlamydia the only STD I can think of? What are other STDs? Um, fucking herpes. Herpes. That's yeah. a good one. My favorite one, gonorrhea. Yeah. That's my favorite one I've ever had. Yeah. Get gone off the gonorrhea. <laughs> Get gone off the nitro gonorrhea. <laughs> and we gone off the gonorrhea. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. We should. Hey, we should rebrand a weed to be like an STD. Yeah. Like you know, like. Thug was saying, like, I'll be smoking that dick. Yeah. We got to say some shit like that. Yeah, I like that. I'll be smoking that gone. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. I'll be smoking that hurt. <laughs> I'll be smoking that. Uh, the only one I can think of right now is HIV. And that one's yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one's d- yeah, that yeah. one's deep. Yeah. That one's real. And smoking on that. <laughs> smoking on that hurt. <laughs> on those herpes. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Yeah, this is dumb as fuck. How fucking what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah, no, something actually just to keep talking about Damel's Aaron too much. Something Alina pointed out that she was like kind of what you were saying. <clears throat> is is like last week we were driving to go get some food and we see ads for his weed. And it's all like naked girls. Yeah. And she was like, That's kind of the same shit. She was like, That's kind of weird branding for weed, you don't you think? I'm like Yes. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I never thought about it like 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 a swimsuit yeah. type. That's what shot. I'm talking about. This it's is what I'm fucking, talking about. It's, it's so weird. Yeah. But then she was being that she works in advertising, she's like, it's kind of smart. <laughs> is it though? I mean, like, I guess like it I don't know. It's just that whole lifestyle I don't think is synonymous with weed, and that's the point to marketing something is finding a way in that's like relatable and I don't think makes sense. I don't think that's what they're He's, going for. They're forcing it. They're forcing it. They're forcing this like, like weed is a party drug. It's it's it represents women and late yeah. nights and blah 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 and blah, and it's like it doesn't though. That's why weed is what it is. No, nah, but you know who's buying that weed? You know who's buying ignite weed? Frat bros. No. Who the the forty year old guys who still go to porn conventions and pay money to like line up for like meet and greets for models like Laker. Girls and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. I feel like those are the guys buying the Ignite pen. Yeah. Because they're the ones that are like perving out on Instagram like, yeah, I fucking love Dan Bilzerian's account. I'm I think the sp- point is to market it to like 16-year-olds. 
that's the point. Who are or like, that. yo, Danny B's a fucking man. They like just, <laughs> you know, their balls just drop. They're like <laughs> horny as hell. He's always hanging out with the hottest girls. Dude. And he's always partying. And he hangs out with Steve Aoki. And fucking EDM is sick. And he smokes weed too. Yeah, and he smokes weed. And it's like, fuck, I want to smoke weed like that. <laughs> I want to do dabs with hot ass girls. <laughs> He's got the sickest strains, and his logo is like a little like fucking cow skull. Sick, dude. He's just he's just ruining young young men all over America. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. showed up to parties with the fucking that goofy Dan Bilzerian like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the horns on the beanie and the shirt and the <laughs> fucking bong. Yeah, he's like trying to like outbeat like roar. <laughs> yeah. This fucking kid walks in there. Yo, any bitches want to hit a fucking <laughs> nitro strain or what, dude? <laughs> fucking alpha is the alpha's here, dude. Alpha <laughs> has landed. Comes in there with fucking sleeveless tee. Yeah, just fucking a giant bong. Like can a, barely hold it. <laughs> Shit's shaking in his fucking hand. Hella <laughs> tubes yeah. and shit like wrapping around. Yeah, who wants to f- fucking smoke out of my DWP <laughs> sewage system right now, dude? <laughs> Dirty as fuck. Uh, it's insane how dirty those things get. Shout out Matty Smokes, man. His boy Nate Four Twenty. Yeah, their little video. He yeah. had, he had a brand new bong. Uh-huh. They smoked that thing. Looked like someone took a gamer shit in it <laughs> after one rip. I was blown away. Yeah, I'm like that thing. That's the one thing that always grossed me out about bongs. Yeah, <laughs> like Taylor bring that shit around. I'm like, why does it look like diarrhea? Yeah, like, well, I put that. it. I put milk in it because it makes the smoke. <laughs> cleaner but i it's been in there for a month and it's kind of chunky but it the smoke still tastes like fine like it's got a cottage cheese aroma now <laughs> oh no actually that's actually cottage cheese that i put in there i forgot i did that cottage cheese in your bong <laughs> trying to rip the smoke through cottage cheese is not coming through i'm just imagining like i'm like yo why does it look like diarrhea went through that it's like oh yeah it's good shit in it. <laughs> They're like, dude, you're like, dude, is that Chick Fil A in there? Like, yeah, yeah, it's dope. It makes the smoke super thick. You just jam a bunch of Chick Fil A sandwiches in your body. <laughs> nuggets. And dribbles. Dude, you get the Chick Fil A sauce. <laughs> Put this shit in there. Yeah, you smoking on that Chick Fil A sauce? Oh, just putting the fucking most fill the bowl up with the sauce, <laughs> lighting it and smoking it through the burger. <laughs> I don't know why that's so fucking just putting garbage in there. Just old banana peels and apple whey, cores and shit. Whey protein. Yeah, just, yeah dude. It's just gonna get you high as fuck. That's, that's what Dan Bilzerian does, dude. He smokes weed through whey protein. Yeah, bro. Rolls it with alright. Enough about Dan. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, shout out to Dan. I mean, yeah. We did go to his house that one time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. Um and you know that Halloween party next year, I would love an invite to that. <laughs> well, we pretty much just blackballed ourselves. Nah, we're never. No, dude, it's it's gonna be exactly what we. We're gonna meet him again. Yeah, and he's gonna go. Yeah, man, I don't really listen to podcasts, but I checked out the one where you're talking about my weed. <laughs> we're gonna be like, mm. yeah. I'm like, what do you what did you think? Yeah, he's like. Yeah, I'd fuck you up if I was in a different phase of my life. If I wasn't so fucking high right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I beat the shit out of you guys if I wasn't so blazed. No, actually, he goes, I want to show you something. <sighs> I'm not incapacitated. Because I'm not a fucking pussy-ass beta <laughs> like you. Okay, like- that's the difference between me and you. I get more energy. I can go squat big weight right now. That's a joke to you. I can squat it. Yeah. I can Watch also, this. Yeah. <laughs> I can also fuck you up. So you have 10 seconds to get out of my house. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, bye. <laughs> he goes, like, he goes one, like, hey, sorry, 10. And then he just yeah, yeah. knocks us both out. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Shout out to Dan Bilzerian. Shout out, Dan, dude. Big shout out. Fucking. Okay, rules. I fucking owns. Uh, so here's a little update on the uh, the mixtape. We've been working on the mixtape now f- a lot. Why did you switch? Because I don't know. I thought it was funny. To just no, we're not touching <laughs> feet with you, dude. I told Sam yes. Gross, dude. I'm not doing that. 
I told Sam yesterday, I just say sometimes wild shit on purpose. Because I know you're going to be like, what? Uh, what? Dude, what? No. What? Never, dude. That shit yesterday, man, playing. I don't know. We shouldn't talk about Fortnite, but. Yeah. Fucking. I mean, we were playing yesterday. What What part of it? The fact that I. So my voice chat is broken. Oh, yeah. So And so we're all on a Discord, whatever, to, no, to chat. <laughs> and it's working with everyone, except I can hear Sam. But he, he Sam can't, can't hear, hear me. Cody. So they're just <laughs> talking shit to each other. And me and Spock <laughs> are like either relaying the messages or not. <laughs> And you know Sam, he just doesn't stop talking. Yeah. So he is just going in on Cody, making fun of me for some shit I was I'm never do, I'm like not doing, and I can't defend myself because he can't fucking hear me. And so I'm defending myself to Spock and Noel, and they're just busting up laughing. <laughs> he's fucking, like, why are you making fun of me? And I'm like, Sam I wasn't is, even doing that. Sam's just going in, and me and Spock, we're not gonna help him. We're just gonna <laughs> let him continue to get fucking roasted. Anyway, what Anyways, were you about to say? Mixtape. Yeah. We've been working hard on the mixtape. Yeah, what do we got now? We pretty much got like five songs done? Four and a half? We got four five. and a half. No. Four and a half. Yeah, four, four and, and a half. half. No, no, five and a half. Five and a half with the one yesterday. Mm. Hopefully after today it'll be six and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About six and a half. So, you know, we're we're trying to we're trying to conjure up as much as we can. Yeah. Uh, you know. This is it's just a fun, fun little, fun little tape, it's man. It's so much fun, dude. Yeah, fun little it's tape. So much fun working on this shit. We're definitely fucking around a lot. Um, we, yeah, we invest. Kelsey, Kelsey was like, "Yeah, it's pretty like experimental." I was like, "Oh, that's." Oh, she didn't like it. A back no, she did. She she likes it a lot. I was just like, it's just like very different from the last one. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, well, because the first one was just like straight rapping. Yeah, and I don't know, man. It's it, that's kind of the point. Like, got. If we're gonna make any music, we can't just do that. Every well, now week. we're like making music. We're not like making a song. <clears throat> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we're trying to make sense. music. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. And like, I, I think we got to try some funky ass shit. Yeah, to like get good. Yeah. So, I think <laughs> what'll be different is after the tape. I think there's, you know, we'll be able to. I don't know. Like, we put more money into the studio. Mm -hmm. We've got ourselves set up with just like more gear, mm -hmm. and it it. It won't, instead of, like, annually being able to put out a little music project, we'll be able to put out a lot, yeah. like a lot faster. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get way faster. We already are way faster. Yeah, just because, like, we learned, I mean, <clears throat> big shout-out to Diamond Pistols. He's taught us a lot. Yeah. A uh, big shout-out to Spock. He, you know, he's always cooking up some heat and mm -hmm. engineering for us. So, you know, we've been putting in work and just mm -hmm. having fun with it. So uh, we're excited for you guys to hear it. It's going to be <clears throat> probably second week in December. Yeah. Someone asked me on stream, they were like, are you guys going to do music live? And I'm, and I'm like, well, I believe Cody and I are, are guests in the hip-hop <laughs> music arena. We are guests at most. Yeah. Um, so we'll, do, we'll do a live show eventually. If, if enough people listen to this tape, then, then we'll do it. Yeah, we could justify it. Yeah. But even, I mean, like, I, definitely for the show, like, we'll, you know, I think we'll play some music, but we're not going to get your fucking... Get your fucking hands up! It's like a matinee show. Yeah, yeah, four p.m. Twelve, <laughs> no noon. Hey, get your fucking hands up! Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your dick fat. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> Keep your yeet fat. <laughs> uh oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. So, um. Anyways, I just wanted to update the people on the. And speaking of the shows, we should update everyone. All right, the big announcement. Yeah. The big announcement. Okay. I think... No, the big announcement is that the announcement is next week That's now. what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do a bonus episode next Tuesday. And... <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. And uh, we will give you all the juicy deets mm -hmm. that evening. <clears throat> but uh, for more tickets, we can say we are upgrading venues. And we can say... Next week, there will be more tickets available for certain cities uh -huh. where, we have, where, where we were able to make it happen. Uh -huh. Can't specify where. Yeah. Yeah. We're very it's excited. Like 10, it's like 10 cities or something like that. Yeah. Um, we're very excited. Uh, we've definitely opened up a lot of rooms, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, uh, Austin, Texas, just be just be aware. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Austin, Texas is one of them, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just you know, if you're if you're from Texas and you're a winner, oh, I like the 
they're like they're always like all right just don't say like the city names yet or just we'll just like keep the announcement for next week just so we're not like rushing all the stuff and we're like yeah, yeah it's cool it's cool yeah and we just do it anyway yeah 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 well so we're not gonna say any city names but austin yeah knock on wood <laughs> Austin, Austin, Texas. I'm just saying. <coughs> I'm just saying, you know, <clears throat> all you South Texas <laughs> inbred, inbred <No>. nincompoops, <laughs> be alert. <laughs> nah, that's a good be little alert. hint. That's a good little hint. Be alert. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I yeah. like how that actually that that works. Yeah, it works. It worked worked big time. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna dude. Uh, just fucking, I'm gonna bring the best strains. We're gonna smoke all you guys we'll out. Smoke, and we're gonna party, dude. We're gonna put the nitro chlamydia in a fucking gigantic V12 <laughs> Dodge Charger engine on yeah. stage. It's gonna hot box through, the entire place through a Chick Fil A drive through first. Yep. Just Fill fucking that shit up with, with chicken. chicken nuggets and yeah. Chick Fil A sauce yep. and spicy sriracha. Get mm-hmm. it all so the smoke is just nice and flavored when it comes out. Yep, and just and smoke you all out. It's gonna be a fun ass show. Yeah, it's gonna be a ripping show. Hey, yeah. um, so I've been back on my Mark Weens. Okay, yeah. What the fuck was that? You deleted your tweet or some shit? Everyone was tagging me in it, and then you deleted. I know. It. I you didn't see it? No. Oh, um, it was just a shot. It was like a recent video he did okay. with this other white dude, and I, I like looked at it. Because Alina and I were watching him, and I got to say, his, okay, so he put out a video recently, and it was shot by someone else. Shot and edited completely by someone else. Okay. When it's not him holding the camera, and he's not picking the edit, he actually has a really strong food personality. Really? Like, he could be on the Food Network. Really? Because he, like, gets in there, and, like, he's talking to the chef, and when it's, like, produced, he he also is, like, weirdly charismatic. Okay. Because he's kind of, like, goofy. Okay. So chefs and stuff always look like they're enjoying, like, talking to him. You know, he really tries to engage the culture. Like, he tries to learn the language wherever he's at. And I was like, yeah, that's full, like, whatever. So then he, I've never seen him do this. Or he's done it one other time, but he collabed with a dude. And then Alina jokes, she's like, this is you and Cody. <laughs> and it's just a white guy with a bandana eating Asian food and this then Mark Wayne's. This is great. Yeah. Why did you delete it? Um, I don't know. I like. I feel like I publicly shit on Mark too much. Yeah, and it's like such a lie because I I actually like. Enjoy. Yeah, no, we're we're wieners. Yeah, we're wieners. Yeah, yeah, we're wieners. We're absolute absolute yeah. wieners. He's a wiener. Yeah. I'm a wiener. Yeah. Oh, he's the weens. We're the wieners. the wieners. We're his fang. Yeah, he's fang the ween. Group. We're the wieners. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it was crazy. I was like thinking, like this fool just needs to hire a cameraman. Yeah. Be clocking in views. Fucking DM. Yeah. DM them. Yo, dude, I got a fucking idea for your business. Yeah. Yeah. An idea for your business, dude. Dude, you have to fucking, that's 80% of the tweets that I get. You have to react to this. You yeah. have to. You have to. You fucking have, have to. to. It's all, you guys are always sending us people you don't like. Yeah, from high school. Like from your schools. <laughs> Someone's like, it's like, no, I'm not going to bully this random yeah. kid. Yo, get this fucking kid. He's like, he goes to my college. He's a rapper. He, he sucks. made this video so cringy. You have to react to it. You have to. I'm like, I mean, it's like, well, I mean, hands are tied. If I got to do it, I got to do I gotta it. I got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to roast uh, Kyra's brother. Yeah. Um, Apparently, he's a fucking douche nozzle. <laughs> And, Apparently, uh, this is just what I hear. I don't and know. And so we're gonna find out. Holy shit! It's just ten minutes of us just <laughs> laying into some shitting on this kid. random kid. <laughs> this kid fucking blows. Man, fuck this kid! Wow, surprised he doesn't kill himself already. <laughs> fucking idiot, going nowhere. Jesus, go nowhere in this business. Jesus, go nowhere in this business. Fuck this dumbass kid. <laughs> I had something else I wanted to bring up. What else is what else is new? Don't yawn, bitch. No, I'm not. Six nine new album coming out November twenty third. I can't even talk about six nine because I've had too many people saying I like endorse him. Okay. Well none we'll just gloss right over that then. Let's it's see. It's so annoying. New man. Earl sweatshirt today. Super weird. Very weird Wait, am song. I, am, like, was I wrong? No, oh, back to six nine. No, but am I was I wrong? Cause people were like because I brought up him like he's technic like at the time. It's not that he was a pedophile. Like, people just running like, oh, he's a pedophile, he's a pedophile. And I'm like, you kind of should know the details of, like, what you're saying a little bit. Okay. And I just felt like you should know that it's it's not just a pedophile. Yeah. 
like that was like my angle and it okay. like i feel like people misconstrued that but i'm like he filmed a fucking kid yeah you know what i'm saying that's way that's to me way different i don't know maybe it's not it's not different yeah i mean i don't know i just some some part of me was like you should have it accurate like yeah. it's just more than just a word yeah like it's not just like oh he's a fucking he's a pen yeah, yeah 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 i know what you're saying i know what you're saying like it's like i, I don't know like whatever the funniest shit about him, dude, is his like, and he so pled he, guilty. He did he really? Yeah, yeah he did. He got yeah, the yeah. fucking plea right, deal. Right, That's right, crazy. Yeah. He got a fucking plea deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he did, all his money went to his lawyers for sure. <clears throat> yeah, so he like somehow avoided jail, and then one of the things was, did we already talk about this? I don't think we did. No. The one of one of his like conditions of his parole or whatever. Oh is, yeah, he can't. He, he can't. can't like associate with gangs. And yeah. Treyway technically is a gang. Yeah. And so in his like the first video he posted since the verdict, yeah, or whatever, it's like. You you know the vibes, Cali. You know the vibes, and he like goes on and on, and then he like sings song lyrics that are threatening. Yeah, but I think he did that because they're lyrics to the song, technically. Yeah, and not like uh, like he's singing about guns and stuff like that, yeah. which the lawyer. So he's already testing this parole. Yeah, and at the very end, he's like, "You already know what I want to say." Ha ha, and then it like ends. Yeah, I I just think like <laughs> he's gonna fuck up one time and say it. it's gonna t- uh, dude. It's, he's gonna get too drunk. Someone's gonna snap him. Yeah, he's like, hey bro, you better be careful. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Treyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boom. Or like just just like it's like a reflex thing. Yeah. Like a six nine Treyway. Oh oh shit. Fuck fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Cops pull up right there. Guys, <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Dude, that's all. Yeah. That's just gonna be TMZ uh, now. Yeah. Hey, hey, um, hey, um, hey, six nine. What rhymes with uh, stay away? <laughs> yeah. What? What rhymes with uh, stay away? Like what? What rhymes with uh, stay safe? Oh, Treyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the stuff you always said at the end of your videos? Is it um, is it fr- uh, filetway? <laughs> no, it's fucking Treyway. Oh, fucking Trey. Damn it. Rip. Get your ass. Mm-hmm. Get your ass gone. Yeah, bro. I don't know. That's the that's the definition of money mm-hmm. can money can buy a lot. Mm-hmm. That have bought him an out of jail free card. I know. I it's thought crazy. he was for sure going away. You thought so? Yeah. The D, like the DA had. I thought it was the DA going after him. Like he wants this kid yeah. done. Yeah. He's going for it. The GED shit that just was <laughs> so funny. That must have felt like a hook line sinker. Yeah. <laughs> DA is like, no, 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 you know what we do? We just make him do some science. Yeah. He's going to fuck it all up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Fuck it all up. Guaranteed. You think this kid's going to remember the difference between the different layers of mantle in yeah. the earth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. Basic, find X. Basic you can tr- find X. <laughs> no jail. <laughs> I was going to make a really dark joke. Right oh, there. wow. <laughs> Ooh, X, I see. Yeah. Speaking of which, his album's coming out too. And it's 17 minutes long. Mm. I think they're just releasing all these songs that of are like half finished. Of course they are. Just to what? Milk it for yeah, money? Yeah, and Peep. They're just saying shit with Peep. I know, dude. They're fucking... It's kind of gross. It's weird. Like I don't like... I don't... I don't... <clears throat> I don't fuck with it. I don't listen to it. I think like a post-humus? Is that the word? Posthumous. Posthumous? Yeah. Like release is fine if it's like, all right, like... Don't strategize it. That's what's yeah. weird. Is that all these YouTube videos and stuff like that are planned and they're like yeah. singles now coming out for an album. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Like yeah. the the money would have gone to him, right? Yeah. And the team would have benefited from the money. But now you're just milking this because you're the only people left and yep. you still technically like it's just weird. Yeah. Why are you methodically planning a release for someone who's dead? Hey man. The industry dog. They be knocking off rappers to make more money. Yeah. <sighs> I guess. It Crazy. Was, it was. I mean, what my, was that? Me and my homie Ryan used to talk about that shit. Oh, uh, what? It's like, you know, labels like killing Pac and Big. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, like Eminem accused, even his fucking diss to Machine Gun, he accused Diddy of getting, uh, I think, Pac knocked yeah. off. Yeah. Know, all that shit. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I think it's gross. I don't, yeah. I don't listen, I don't listen to it. You don't listen to it? You're just, no. That's your protest? You want to listen to the music? No, fuck that, man. Yeah. Those labels just getting money off dead people. I agree, man. It's weird. It's definitely weird. Uh, or, or uh, you know, I'd like, I guess it's it's not the same as, like, if someone is an artist and then they, I guess, uh, 
I see that shit out never. You know, like when labels randomly come out with like the twenty five year remastered Beatles album. Yeah. You know, they're, yeah. They're not all dead. Yeah. The same shit. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy with this huge dick? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just Jamie, pull the video of the guy with a huge, huge ass dick. Yeah, you saw that tweet, that retweet? I, oh, my God, dude, this girl. Shout out, God bless her, whatever her name is. Um, she said her boyfriend now refers to her as Jamie. Okay. And just whenever he needs something, or like, <laughs> oh, yeah, he calls yeah, her I did see that, so yeah. good. Jamie, can you give me a beer? Thanks. <laughs> Jamie, can we get these dishes cleaned up? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Jamie, uh, did you uh, refill the toilet paper? <laughs> That's so fucking good. Jamie, pass me my dab break, please. Jamie, can you get that nitro dab weed, please? <laughs> Jamie, can you get some of that nitro dab weed, please? Hey, Jamie, could you pass me my uh, razor diaper? <laughs> yeah, just the diaper. I Jamie, can I get a quick blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> what were we just talking about? Hey, Jamie, could you throw it back for me real quick? <laughs> All right, so hey, Jamie, could you give me that? Spin cycle top, whatever yeah, you, you said in the video. Yeah, could you give me that spin cycle Samsung Elite dishwasher top? Hey, Jamie, could you give me that Laffy Taffy right now, please? <laughs> what we were talking about was... The Big Dick video. Yeah, so Cody sent so, me what, yeah, it's like a this... video. I know everyone is going to comment, send us the reference. Just, you don't want to see this just one. Just Google search giant... Silicone dick? Silicone dick. Okay. Yeah, it's this crazy gay ball dude. So Cody sends me a video of this dude putting effectively, in his own words, a bowling ball. His his dick is literally a bowling ball, and so are his balls. Yeah, it's, it's huge. This it's, might be the guy who died, actually. Maybe it's the same guy. I don't know if he's dead. Okay. You talking about Some that? dude just died. No, it's not that guy. Okay, okay, okay. So this guy, uh, Taylor... God forbid his, or God bless his high ass. Yeah. One day sends me a link. He says, man, I know this is fucking weird. <laughs> I know this is fucking weird. This is in Look high school. Look at this guy's dick. I've, I've known about this dude since high school. And he's still alive? I, I would think so. I feel like that's just got to lead to complications that just eventually. I mean, yeah, he's probably got the silicone poisoning or whatever. Yeah. He's probably got some kind of cancer. We yeah. Could look it up right now. Okay. Um. But anyway, so Cody sends me a video of this dude with. He's got two silicone bowling balls. Yeah. They read giant silicone dick. Is that yeah. what I searched? Yeah, Google that. I'm going to go into incognito for this one, I think. Nah, bro. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> uh, well, if you're using your VPN, you will never, ever be <laughs> traced looking at gigantic silicone cocks. Can you find it? Yeah, but Mike uh, Misha Stunts. I think that's him. The ball dude. 45 year old who in. Who enlarged himself with silicone injections is now so big he struggles to have sex. Yeah, wait, flip it around. Let me let me see his face. Uh, no, That's a different guy. That's a different guy. <laughs> what in the fuck? Hold on now, ladies and gentlemen. This is the research segment of the show. Yeah, gigantic. There's more. There's multiple. This, dick, this guy's dick weighs nine and a half pounds. Fucking ten pound dick. <laughs> That's, that's a, insane. That's a kettlebell, homie. He basically has a kettlebell in his dick. Yo, this shit's called monster meat. Okay. So, oh, is this the same dude? I mean, no, no, this is not the guy. Okay. This is fucked up. There's more than one of them. Yeah, dude, this is like a thing. Yo, what? All right, we can't. Okay, I hit images. That was the dumbest thing I could have oh, did. Jesus. All right. So whatever. I guess I don't know who that guy is. Okay. I guess this is a popular trend. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry. Keep going. So anyway, Taylor sends me this video. It's this crazy gay ball dude talking about. Yeah, it just started. It's like, uh. You know, I did one and then another and yeah. It, so it got to the point where his dick doesn't work. He, he says when he pisses, he said in the video when he pisses, it just goes everywhere. Ugh. Basically has to like dunk his dick in the toilet. Oh my God. You know, has to wear special pants and shit because it's so massive. Uh, And like he's got this weird like look on it where he's like, you know, sex doesn't do anything for me anymore and and 
and I like having this thing this, this that people gawk at and and I, I love that feeling that is really what gets me off and weird self I don't know mutilating type shit and then at the end of the video he's like do you want to see it and he just pulls it out the cameraman's like no nope. yeah mind you I'm like 17 and this dude just pops out this scrotum cosmic bowling ball out of his fucking dick and, or his pants and I, and I look at this like my hands yo, are on my head. Oh, you're saying, like, yo, I need to, yeah, I need yeah. to do some <laughs> dick curls or something. I need to get my shit out, <laughs> dude. I could not believe, I could not believe that he had gone that <laughs> far. How's the doctor not go? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Like yeah, you're gonna done. die. Like <laughs> you're fucking with. Basic bodily functions here. They just put him under, and they're just talking shit. This guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wants it, man. Yeah, I mean, it's technically safe. Whatever. No, no, they do. They do the silicone injections themselves. Oh, it's they not, just yeah. It's not they don't go to a place and get it done. No one would do that. It's they buy the silicone from wherever and they inject it. Brother. Yeah. Brother. I, it's got to be. And it's not like safe to do that shit. But I could hit one though. <laughs> Maybe. What if I like half? Let's of, get let's get like half of one. Let's get have just a half, just a quick Lucy, just a quick. Oh just a man, half-y. that fucking just makes me just sick. Yeah, it's nah. like the synthol shit. Yep. Ugh. Yeah. But you know, just a little fucking disgusting. Just dude. A little sweetener. Yeah. Just a little. Just a little. Just a quick inch. Yeah, just a quick. It, well, inch. Boom. A little bit of girth to go. But then we could do another. You know, because like yeah. one, you can't just yeah. stop at one. You yeah, gotta do another do one, another, and then yeah. yeah. This is what you call it girth to go. <laughs> G to G. Yeah, G to G. Comes in a nice little tube. Oh, yeah, we got to go. Do we? Yeah, Christian just said, can we do the session earlier? He's got to pick up his buddy. What? We're done now, 31 minutes. Really? Chilling, yeah. You know the last episode we did an hour and 20 minutes? I know, dude. This shit soars by. Now that we don't have like the computer in front of us and shit like that, it's just yeah. like us chatting, you know? Yeah, just two boys chatting it up in matching clothes. Yep. Anyways, everybody. Two friends. We're going to go smoke some weed with our buddy. Um... <laughs> Rip down on some herb. Uh, tickets on sale next week. Next Friday. Uh, or earlier. Okay. I think it's announced Wednesday and on sale next Friday, I think. Well, good thing we... I don't know. Whatever. Good thing we yeah. said that. Um, just, if you're keep, watch- just keep your eyes and ears tuned for an announcement. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening on iTunes, they're already on sale. Yeah. So hopefully they're not sold out. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. right yeah. And then... um. Yeah, bonus episode next week. Fanjoy.co slash Cody Co. if you want to get some of this. And then in two weeks, um, we'll have our own website. Uh, customurl.com yeah. that has all the new TMG merch that you guys pretty much voted on. Yeah, it's going to be fire. Yeah, we're going to make all four because it seems like there's a healthy mix. Yeah. So, And then we got a little bonus one on the side. Mm-hmm. So, Biazza, appreciate y'all. Thank you, guys. Peace.